Hi, this is Tanee McCall Short, here to promote The End Again, and you're watching Bossip.com. It was actually a, a screenplay written by an amazing writer, her name's Felicia Pride, and I have to give her all the credit in the world, she wrote an amazing screenplay, and it was already, you know, done before, you know, everything kind of happened. So uh, I, I auditioned and I was cast as Jane and um, I'm just really, really proud to be involved in a project that is, you know, led by, you know, three black women. The director, her name's Crystal Robertson and the producer, Letitia Fortune. And as I said, Felicia, it did a, an amazing job with the script. I didn't have any reservations about playing this role because it was already in existence before, you know, anything had happened. I was cast in it first, and so we were doing a lot of chemistry reads for me, and we were having a hard time finding, you know, a good Joe. That's when, you know, they asked if Columbus would play it, and he agreed, and so there you have it. What's the most challenging part of shooting a movie with my husband? There is no challenging part. Um, it, it's all good. We have a, a great working relationship. We work together, you know, phenomenally. He's an amazing talent. I still think that he's the most talented person I've ever met in my entire life. It's all kind of ridiculous when you're commenting about other people's lives, especially about a marriage, because only those two people know you know, what happened and even I'm still processing, you know, what all that was. It was a 10-year thing that I, you know, I love more than anything my family. My favorite role as an actress so far has been actually Jane. I think she's the most close to home of who I am and someone I can really relate to. That's why I'm here is to promote the Indiegogo campaign that we have going on to turn this into a feature film. And if you go to any openended.com and Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, uh, you can see how that you can help out with that. I am still dancing. I think once a dancer, always a dancer. You know, I, I toured with Beyonce on her I Am tour and it was, you know, it was a, a great experience and I'm so glad that I got to, you know, travel the world, especially with her, to see, you know, how a boss really does it and it's something that I've got a lot of joy from. I'm not a baby lawyer. I'm gladiator in a suit because that's what you are when you work for Olivia. Do I think it was fair that Columbus was fired from Scandal? I think, you know, they don't call it Shondaland for nothing and she does a great job of, you know, managing her television shows and, you know, if that was her call to make, then that was her call to make. Um, I wouldn't question Shonda Rhimes. <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God, bitch. What are my thoughts about the footage that came out about Tilly Key? I, I didn't really have thoughts at first. I, I mean, it was just an emotion. I was hurt. Um, it's like, having a thousand piece jigsaw puzzle and you have, you know, two connecting pieces on the corner. Not everyone got to see, you know, the full scope of what happened. That's hurtful to have blasted everywhere. And, but more so because it's not an accurate, you know, representation of who I am as a woman. You know, on a broader scale, media wise, it's unfortunate because it seems like all we have is this angry, you know, black woman, man, you know, mentality. I hope that as many people see the end again as they did, you know, see that tape on TMZ. <laughs>